What's up everybody and welcome to another tutorial video. This week we are following up from the previous video that showcased how to create a third person camera and character controller. So feel free to go back and check that video out if you like and you can download the complete project from the description and work from there. As you've seen on screen, our camera is unable to see through the wall. This means we need to write some code to fix that problem. Open up the third person camera controller script and in here, it contains all the code for moving the camera around. At the top, add in our new variables, public transform obstruction and float zoom speed equals 2f. Then in the start method, add obstruction equals target. We are just giving the obstruction transform a default start value here. And we may as well use target because that's what the camera will be facing. Next up, we need to create a method called view obstructed so start the method with raycast hit and then we have if physics.raycast transform.position then target.position minus transform.position and out hit and 4.5f then another if statement this time checking for hit.collider.gameobject.tag does not equal player essentially checking if the game object blocking our camera is not the player Add into this obstruction equals hit.transform and obstruction.gameobject.getComponent mesh renderer dot shadow casting mode equals unity engine dot rendering dot shadow cast mode dot shadows only. The reason we hide the wall this way and not by just disabling the mesh renderer altogether is so that we can keep the shadows in the scene, creating the illusion that the wall is still there. It looks a little strange if you just disable the mesh render altogether as the shadows also disappear. We have another if statement up next and we want to check vector 3 dot distance obstruction dot position comma transform dot position and we want to check if this distance is greater than or equal to 3 and then vector 3 dot distance transform dot position target dot position and if that is greater than or equal to 1.5. So this part checks if the camera is positioned from the wall and player so that it can decide if it should zoom into the wall or player. And it then zooms in using transform.translate vector 3.forward times zoom speed times time.delta time. We then want to fill in our else condition. Add here obstruction.gameobject.getComponent mesh renderer dot shadow casting mode equals unity engine dot rendering dot shadow casting mode dot on. So we just switch it back on again so the wall is visible. Our else condition applies when our ray connects with the player. So this means we enable the walls mesh renderer. We also want to reset the camera distance to the player by using if vector three dot distance transform dot position target.position is less than 4.5f and then we transform.translate vector3.back times zoom speed times time.delta time. And that is the script finished. Just make sure to call this method from late update and then save and go back to Unity. Before we can try out our new method, make sure to add tags to our game objects. Set the player's tag to player Set the targets tag to player and then set the wall and the ground to both wall and ground. Click play and then try this out. You will see that the wall disappears when you go back against it. The ground here doesn't disappear because of the angle of the camera, but the script would still apply if the ground somehow obstructed our view. So again, we've come to the end of another tutorial. So make sure to like and subscribe, hit the bell, and as always guys, I'll see you in the next one.